If you're looking for cheap and reliable coins, check the link in the description for FIFA coins. And they're selling for £2 per 100k on the Xbox and about £2 per 100k on the PlayStation. Use the code JOSH5 to get 5% off. What's up lads, Josh here and welcome back to Best Ever Series and this is going to be the best ever Bayern Munich team that you will ever see on FIFA of course. We're covering from FIFA 10 to FIFA 15 and we will see some absolute gem cards, you know, since FIFA 10 to FIFA 15. That is the whole point of the series, to show you what Bayern have had over the, you know, over five FIFAs and to show, uh, just to showcase some of their cards of course in, a, in the Best Ever Bayern team. So let's get straight into the episode, I think this is the fourth episode now, we've done Arsenal, Manchester United, uh, Chelsea and of course... Real Madrid and now we're on the fifth episode should I say and of course we are moving on to the best ever buying team and moving on to the goalkeeper for the best ever buying team guys I'm pretty sure you all knew who it was going to be via the thumbnail and of course just because he's been absolutely superb since joining Bayern Munich probably the best goalkeeper at the moment and uh, has been for a good three to four seasons nobody's really come close to how good this guy is and of course it's going to be Manuel Neuer team of the year card from FIFA 15, this year's FIFA 15 shall I say and it's got some incredible stats and he's actually 96 rated which I think if I'm not mistaken is actually the highest rated goalkeeper on FIFA history so 96 rated uh, team of the annoyer is actually the highest rated goalkeeper in FIFA history it's an absolutely fantastic achievement to have of course um, and it just shows how well you know or how far ahead of everybody else he is but 96 rated team of the year goalkeeper for uh, is going to be Neuer and of course let's move straight on to the defense and moving on to the defense for the best ever Bayern team, of course, guys. We're going to be starting at the left back, and that is going to be FIFA 14's left back card of team of the season, Alaba. And he was absolutely fantastic, and he costed an absolute bomb. Um, but he was a great card, and of course, left back. They, they've always sort of struggled for left backs. Not sort of struggled, but they haven't really had a, a huge, great left back um, that's, you know, hugely high rated. And 87 rated is actually going to be the highest rated for a left back for, uh, for Bayern Munich. And moving on to the center backs now, the first one is going to be Dante, of course. This is a team of the season card from FIFA 13, and uh, it was a pretty sick one. 75 pace, 88 defending, and 89 heading. A truly phenomenal card. And uh, of course, this was when Dante was actually usable. Of course, he's now like 64 pace or something, so he's been losing that uh, ever since FIFA 13. But you know, a truly awesome card to look at and actually play with. I, I use that guy a lot in my Brazilian teams on FIFA 13. Uh, next player is actually going to be from this year's FIFA, FIFA 15, and it is of course going to be upgraded Boateng. They, they haven't actually had an abundance of huge, like, great centre-backs. Um, there was Team of the Season Badge Stuber uh, uh, that was 85 rated. Other than that, you know, I can't really think of any other players that have, you know, sort of challenged uh, these two players. So Boateng and Dante are the best centre-backs in Bayern history on FIFA at the moment. And of course, the, uh, moving on to the right-back, which will complete the defence, is going to be Team of the Year Lamb from this year's FIFA 15. And he he probably should have been a central defensive mid because that's where he's been playing mostly, but I'm assuming he's just... Um, He's been put at right back because that you know that there wasn't really a good right back this season, so I'm assuming that's what the whole system is about, and that is why he's a right back. But I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But let's move straight onto the midfielder. Uh, the, let's move straight onto the midfield for the best ever Bayern midfielders. And moving on to the midfield for the best ever Bayern team, guys. We're going to be starting off on the left wing, and of course, it's going to be Ribery from FIFA 14. I think this is a team of the season card, or a, no, I think it's an actually it's a team of the year card, and it is an absolutely fantastic one to look at. That, um, of course, Ribery well, should maybe should have been in this year's team of the year, but I don't think he's been doing as well as he was as previous seasons. But uh, as you will see on the other side of the wing, uh, we will have another FIFA 15 player, um, and it is of course going to be Robin, an absolutely fantastic player this season and of course he got himself in uh, in, the, in the team of the year again. I'm pretty sure this is like four or four, three or four years running that uh, Robin has been in every single one and of course he's been absolutely fantastically consistent for Bayern Munich and the good thing about this Bayern Munich team is most of them actually still play there today so um, you know five years over FIFA that these guys are still there and it is absolutely awesome to see um, you know so, so much loyalty and all that to you know for this team to still be around and developing still into a world-class team ever since you know FIFA 10 to FIFA 15 a lot of these players have still been playing for only just one club so really fantastic to see that they've been you know still all at Bayern Munich and they seem to believe in their squad and of course it looks like they will go unchallenged again now with Bayern uh, but with Borussia Dortmund out of the way it looks like they will go on to win another Bundesliga championship maybe Wolfsburg can stop their way but I think um, you know Bayern Munich looked far too strong this season again and with uncontested Borussia Dortmund there it looks like they will go on to win another championship 
championship. But anyway, moving on to the 91 uh, rated central defensive mid. Of course, it's going to be Schweinsteiger from FIFA 15, team of the season card. And he had, he had some absolutely superb um, stats. And he was quite a cheap one as well. I think it was like 80k, but of course... Coins were harder to uh, uh, obtain back then, so it was actually a harder card. Uh, obviously, it was a harder card to buy. Um, but then the final, uh, the final player of the midfielder is actually going to be uh, Tony Cruz, of course, when he was playing for Bayern Munich. Of course, he now plays for Real Madrid, but he was a fantastic player for Bayern Munich when he was playing there, and he managed to get himself an 89-rated Team of the Season card on FIFA 13 to sit in this team. So now let's move straight onto the strikers. And moving on to the strikers for the best ever buying team, guys. We're going to be looking at two strikers, and the first one we're going to talk about is, of course, going to be Lewandowski, who has only been there about a year and a half now, and he has he's not started amazingly. I think he's only scored about 12 goals since joining Borussia, uh, since joining from Borussia Dortmund. There we go. And uh, of course, this is actually his highest rated um, Bayern card. He did have a 92 rated team of the season. Um, Borussia Dortmund card, but of course he's not. He's no longer playing for them now. And I'm trying to stick to players that have, you know, obviously got their logos, uh, logos on them on their cards. So 89 rated Lewandowski is actually going to be the highest rated striker that Bayern, uh, Bayern Munich have actually ever had, uh, other than o Gomez, of course, sitting next beside him. So he's actually the second highest, uh, second highest rated striker that Bayern Munich have ever had since FIFA 10 to FIFA 13. It is going to be 89 rated Lewandowski from FIFA 14, who had some absolutely awesome stats and uh, started well, but of course he's not really doing. Amazing amazingly this season but Bayern as a whole team you know just do incredibly well and score plenty of goals and you know uh, they sort of share their goals out so they just pick you know pick teams apart and it doesn't matter who's scoring as long as they're winning the games it doesn't really matter if the striker has you know 10 20 30 goals it's, it's always going to be as a whole team performance for Bayern Munich but onto the striker that is actually their highest rated striker and it is of course going to be FIFA 12's team of the season card and it is going to be Mario Gomez. When he was in his prime for Bayern Munich, he, this guy was absolutely fa fantastic and of course world class. But he doesn't play for them anymore, he plays for Fiorentina and he's like sitting at like 82 rated. So this guy has been, you know, obviously sort of entered his retirement phase to his career but still a great player. Um, but just not as good as he was back then. But anyway, a fantastic player, a fantastic players to look at today, of course. Um, this has been the best ever Bayern team. Comment down below what team you think I should do next. I've covered Bayern Munich, I've covered Real Madrid, Arsenal, Manchester United, and of course Chelsea. So we've covered five teams. Uh, comment down below what team you think I should cover next, and I will get around to doing that in a day or two. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like rating, subscribe to my channel if you're new and here. Follow me on Twitter at 4 And apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow.